Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you this type of folded like icon and the 9 chat or like that this one is the symbol of 9 and uh, the shadow highlight and everything so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first I'm going to the file and taking new and from here I'll find out the artboard which is 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and giving the name and hit the create button you'll get the background or artboard like this and after that i'll make this one inner side of this and then i'll do other steps so how to do that uh, at first go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like that giving the turn off stroke and color fill color this type of color or any kind of color okay fine and then just press the shift and hold it and rotate this one press ctrl c and ctrl f and making it circle like that and another one so i'm giving another color which will help you out to recognize the two things and then this one if you want to get the round corner or dot point over here go to the view options and turn on the height and show corner wedges if you're the user of the cs version go to the styles from the effects and round corners so i'm selecting this one this one and this one Press the shift button and hold it and now i'll rotate this one now i'm getting these type of things taking a line segment tool and just draw over here like that select all the portion and on the all the steps and making the alignment in the middle if you have doubt like that press the shift m for the shape builders tool and delete this portion and delete this portion as well press the alter or option button and hold it it will show you the minus options and then all the panel i'll make it like that and giving the color like the ash color or blue color like this so here you have to give the color like this okay that's fine and now press ctrl c and ctrl f and making it smaller like this and just make in the middle and rotate this one like this and taking another color which is like that so find at the center yeah this one is the center and then go to the pathfinder tool and minus this portion okay i'm keeping this one beside and then i'll draw another rectangle and drawing the icon like this so keeping keeping the icon over here and making it a little bit smaller and then you can make it round a little bit i said the earlier how to round those portion of the corner okay fine and then this uh, like a gradient i'll take this this gradient i'll take this gradient in here for my convenient and i'll provide you that gradient downloading in my video detail so giving the gradient press i and give over here and g and then i'll make the gradient like that okay that's fine and ctrl c and ctrl f that means two things so i'm keeping this one in a white portion okay or ash color that's fine and i'll just send it in a back layer and after that i'll cut over here and i'll rotate these things take the line segment tool and making it like this and press v and select these two things and like divide this from the pathfinder tool if you want to get the pathfinder tool go to the window and pathfinder over here and then here two portion you have to make it ungroup and then this portion i'll rotate like that right press and transform and rotation from here i'll rotate this one 180 okay make the preview like that and okay that's fine and now g from the keyboard and make the gradient like this so i'll make this one a white color so i'll change the color the white portion and the darker portion will be like this or like this 
press G from the keyboard and taking this one like that like fold it okay and press here and giving the gradient like this so it will make sense okay that's good this folded area is done making it group it will help me out to find out or uh, the other portion i'm giving over here and taking the color white that's good this portion is ready and this portion i have to make the shadow long shadow so i'm taking this one control c and keeping this one outside of a box and control f that means forward twist and giving the normal color like this now i'll make the shadow so press the shift and option button and hold it and drag it like that and now i'll go to the blend tool and select once here and once here and now double click over the blend tool specify the steps and keeping the steps here 300 give the preview like that and hit the ok button then i'll give the like a gradient over here so giving the gradient like this and changing the gradient into dark color and this one as well the dark color okay that's fine and the lower side i'll take this one i and like that so that's good and these two things press g from the keyboard and give the shadow like this so shadow will be more lighter like this type of light that's fine press v from the keyboard and now our shadow is ready and i'll press this one in this portion okay and keeping it in a upper side of the layer that's fine and now i'll make this one a gradient as a gradient so like that and this shadow i have to take care about this shadow how to do that here is the portion which is the transparency make it multiply and then change the opacity from here you can make it like this and if you want to change the gradient g from the keyboard and you can change it so you have to make it ungroup at first so here g from the keyboard and separately you can only change that things so you're getting this type of effects an iconic logo and other steps the folded icon is okay if you need to change this one just select over here g from the keyboard and make it more highlight and from here here is the white portion hsb portion and make it more brighter okay it will give you the real feel and then you are getting this type of folded effects so if you need to change other steps i just given the way how to change it out and i'm making it in a middle okay that's fine you're getting this type of logo ready for you hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may see my signing up today stay safe stay at home bye bye